This video discusses the data file contents and layout. This video also demonstrates how to rename the fields and change the data types. This dataset is a fictitious dataset containing fictitious claims and a fictitious storm path, which contains hail diameters, rainfall, and wind speeds that we created for this case. Tableau automatically imports the header row we had in our Excel file. We can see the policy numbers, the claim numbers, the names of the claimants, their occupations, and street addresses at the top of our data set. If we use the scroll bar at the bottom of the screen, we could also see the remainder of our data, including the storm data that we had created for the case. Above the header row, we see that Tableau also anticipates the data subtype. So policy number and claim number have a pound sign or a hashtag sign above them. This indicates that this data is typed as numeric data. Above the claimants' names, their occupations, and street addresses, we see a little ABC. This designates that the data is identified as a string type. Strings indicate that any combination of letter, number, or characters can appear. String type data is useful for categorical classifications. We can also see a little globe above the latitude and longitude. If we were to scroll over, we would see the same little globe appear above the zip code, city, and county data. This is because these data are typed as a, having a geographic role. The geographic role typing of data will be useful as we attempt to create maps using the data set. While Tableau does a great job anticipating the data types correctly, sometimes you may want to change a data type. I will demonstrate how to change a data type using the house or apartment number. While the house or apartment number is technically a number, it would not make sense to perform numeric functions with the house or apartment number. For example, you're not going to add house numbers together. Instead, the house or apartment number would be used more like a categorical value, similar to the street address. As such, I will change the house or apartment number to a string variable. To do this, navigate up to the data type symbol, again in this case it's the pound or hashtag symbol, and click once. This reveals a short menu where you can select the alternate data type, in this case, string. This data type will then automatically change for every field in your data set. This will automatically change the data type of our house or apartment number. You could also sort the data in the preview table. If you hover over the right hand corner of a header row box, you will see a box with three lines appear. There are varying lengths. If you click on that, it will sort the column first by ascending. Clicking on the same box then sorts by descending. You can click one more time to go back to the original sorting. Alternatively, you should know that you can undo any action that you do in Tableau by either clicking on this back arrow at the top of your screen, or as I hover over that, you see Control Z appear, which means on your keyboard, you would hit the Control and then the letter Z. Finally, you can hide columns. For example, if you don't want to see a column, you can hover over the right-hand corner of the box until a down arrow appears. Clicking the down arrow reveals a shortcut menu where you can rename a column, you can copy the values, and you can hide the column. As you can see, hiding the columns will make it disappear from your view. However, it doesn't change the underlying data that you have, so you don't have to worry the data is still there. And again, if you don't like what you've done, then you can simply use the back arrow at the top of the screen to put that column back into place.